I don't think this is a surprise to the people that watch Blackburn every week. Fans clearly aren't aren't happy and understandably so. Right, what's going on here then, Sam? We need to talk about Blackburn. Worst team in the league since the start of December. One win in 11, five points in 11 games. So underneath 0.5 points per game for a fair chunk. Adam Wharton sold. You can argue that as good or bad, depending on your outlook in terms of, you know, raising money from a youngster or losing quality from your team. Um, John Dahl Thomason told by his club that he's not speaking to the media the day after deadline day. And he then reveals after that that he offered to leave the previous summer with the problems with Venkis getting money out of India to fund the club. And when, when a manager's kind of get on a hot tin roof trying to get out is never a good thing. And just ridiculously, and I don't do football admin, I don't understand, but I'm sure people have paid lots of money to not make paperwork errors. And it sounds like two years running in January, they've not been able to get Lewis O'Brien done last year. And um, this lad, Duncan McGure, um, from MLS, from Orlando City. And then throw in, they lose at home to QPR as well. Um, what, what do you make of this? This feels like mm. eight different strands to a not mm. very good mum mm. for Rovers. A bit of a mess and a bit of a mess that's kind of um, gathering more rubbish. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems to be gathering momentum, doesn't it? And more noise. Um, I saw some stuff on social media over the weekend. So the fans clearly aren't aren't happy and understandably so. I mean, they've conceded the most goals in the division. Let's Let's not forget that. And You'd think with some of the football they play going the other way and some of the results they've had that it would possibly be mitigating circumstances. It's not, I'm afraid. They're conceding the most shots on average in, in the division. I think their XG against is is only worsened by by Rotherham. So I don't think this is a surprise to the people that watch Blackburn every week. I think there's probably a, a lack of... There's probably a lack of pace, I think, in in the team defensively now. Um, I know McFadden's come in. He's not going to arrest that that issue, but I do really love good leadership, though, won't he? Yeah, I do love McFadden, and and um, th- that that was my next point. Yeah, the the, the leadership, the, the players that they've lost, and when you've got such a youthful team, um, that's quite naive at times. I think the the feast and famine element of the results, that considering that they never lose any, they never draw any games, shows you that there's a a, a lack of game management, a lack good of point game understanding um that that probably goes with it as well so when you you take out help me here Travis that you lot of nicked uh Buckley was going well wasn't he for a period last year Brereton Diaz being the most obvious one Dak if we're going back a few Lenihan, a few seasons Roswell. yeah and then um and then obviously Wharton young lad don't get me wrong but he probably leads with the way that he plays you know your mm. your teammates are probably looking at him and thinking he can handle a ball. We can give him the ball in any scenario and he'll keep it for us. So I think it's a product of that. And what you were talking about with the manager, I suppose he just felt that he was on the, the right path in the summer and just needed to be backed and needed to be able to keep hold of his players and probably add a few more quality ones in areas where they desperately needed them. And they would have they would have been probably threatening the playoffs again this year. So it, it's probably a product of that. Um and saying all that, they've they've got an opportunity to bring in a bit of experience in the next few weeks with McFadden and um, and Fleck to be the two obvious ones who will bring that average age up and and hopefully solidify them in the in the championship, which I'm sure they're they're probably likely to do. But it's um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. And when I'm talking about all these different departments, um, the collective's not going to be great, is it? And I think you could go through the units of the team at the moment. Um, apart from Smodix, I think he's still the highest percentage of goals at an individual club in the championship, 38%. Where would they be without him? Goalkeepers aren't good enough. Said that, you know, over the last two months now, all these goals that have been shipped and all these defeats. And I stand by that. Couldn't have done anything about the two at the weekend. But um, that's been a problem which um, has not been resolved in the window either. So he on... Owners, owners, which is not a new thing. Heat on the director of football. They can't lose, can't lose the manager now, can they? They can't. That's going to be chaos mm. if he goes, isn't it? Um, 
Yeah, I, I, w- well, I would say they've just had quite a concise kind of identity under him. Um, Agreed. It's not gar- it's not garnering results, but it would be it would be a complete change of tack now, wouldn't it, to go for a kind of um, firefighter? Um, but you know, you look at the table now, and we were quite bold to say it was going to be three from four a few weeks ago. Now I'm looking at all those point, all those teams on 33 points with QPR seven points from three games. All of a sudden, could have an incredible battle on that on our hands. Wow, yeah, and that's the beauty of beauty of doing this. We um, we're like scientists, Sam. We are. We actually enjoy being wrong when we make well, prognostications because well, yeah, it gives I don't you wanna... more more yeah, things I... to theorise about. Then doesn't it? And, and and you don't want to come on here and go. Oh, it's the championship. Anyone could go down. Eight points separating yeah. fifth from sixteenth. You know, want to come on here really and say, "Core there." <clears throat> They're in really bad nick. They could go down. I fancy them to get dragged in, but you don't want to be talking about half the division, otherwise you're never making an opinion. (laughs) Amen. Amen. 